Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to episode 48 of the Universe Mode series, and we are here for battle. The crowd is excited for this episode, ladies and gentlemen, and we are in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Now let's get this underway. Who do we have here? He's back! The rumors were true. He was rumored to be seen at the end of the last episode. He's back! Aaron Glenn! So was he the guy who had the masked man by the throat in the last episode? Let's see what he has to say here. He has returned. First off, I want to say this. I'm not here to wrestle. I am here to take down the man who killed my brothers. Supposedly. Supposedly killed my brothers. Because I am still not 100% certain. Because they never found my brothers after he supposedly killed them so I'm doing everything in my power to find them but first I have to get rid of him the masked man I need to figure out who he is I figured out where he is and then I need to take him down that's all I'm here to do I'm not trying to win any championship. I don't care that he's holding the Universal Championship right now. I'm here for revenge. And that's it. Some very powerful words there from the returning Aaron Glenn. But tonight we're going to start off the action. The new world champion, Mark Wildhawk, going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the former Mr. Money in the Bank, Kalisto. And of course, here comes Mark Wildhawk, who is the new world champion as of SummerSlam. And he is from Prince Mikhail's channel, obviously. But he defeated Mr. Bear at SummerSlam for the world championship. But tonight, he's going to go one on one with Kalisto who tried to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase on Mr. Bear and failed. And now here comes Kalisto.
here we go. Let's get this one on one action underway. And here we go, starting things off here with Collar and Obo tie up. Wild Talk gets the advantage. Crowd chanting for Kalisto, though. A nice takedown from Wild Hawk. Oh, and a reversal from Kalisto. Turned into an inverted neckbreaker. Punch to the back there. <clears throat> but Wild Hawk throws him into the corner. Belly to belly suplex. Takes down Kalisto. And the champion might be going for a pin here. Oh, snap in the neck. Oh, kicking the back of the leg there. Trying to do some damage. Oh, no, he's got, in the, got him in the one-legged Boston Crab on the leg he just kicked. Definitely trying to wear down that leg. But Kalisto got out of it. Clothesline from Wildhawk sends Kalisto down. Oh, stomping the arm there. And a clothesline takes down Kalisto. Kalisto right back up to his feet. And a nice Hurricane Rana there. But another clothesline from Wild Hawk. Oh, and double legs. Double leg drop. Now he's going to go for the pin. One. Oh, but Kalisto kicks out. He wants to prove himself against the champion here tonight. Especially since he failed at cashing in the briefcase on Mr. Bear a number of months ago. Oh, and a belly to belly from Wildhawk again. Gonna go for the pin on Kalisto once more. One. But again, Kalisto kicks out at one. He is not giving up. Oh, man. Now focusing on the arm. Kalisto's down. Don't know how much longer he can go in this match. And another clothesline in the corner. Kalisto looks out of it. Oh, but Kalisto pushes him off. Oh, and a clothesline sends Wild Hawk out of the ring. My goodness. Oh, and a clothesline, vicious clothesline. Oh, Kalisto with a nice reversal, turned it into an elbow to the face. Rolling kick there. Kalisto getting ready for something here. Salida del Sol takes down the champion. One, two. Oh, and I thought Kalisto might have done it. But Kalisto is on fire right now.
Kalisto looking to do anything he can to defeat the world champion. But now Wildhawk stomping the leg. Once again going to go for the pin. One, two, and Kalisto still kicks out. Reversal by Kalisto there. Spun him around. And a pin. One, two, three. Kalisto just knocked off the world champion. That's got to be deserving of some kind of title shot or something. He just defeated the world champion in under seven minutes. Like, that's... Quick match, if you ask me. That's insane. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to him. My goodness, what a match. A great performance put on by Kalisto there. Aaron's being attacked. It's, it's Rhino and, and Daniel Bryan. They've been brainwashed. Oh my goodness, I hope Aaron's okay. Um, but I guess we gotta keep going. Up next we have women's action as Asuka takes on Tiffany Strong. Here comes the Empress of Tomorrow. Now here comes Tiffany Strong. Of course, the sister of Tyler Strong, <clears throat> who I don't believe we've seen Tyler Strong here in a while, but his sister is here tonight to go one-on-one -on -one with Asuka. Here we go. Asuka's already got Tiffany in a submission, but she was in the ropes. Oh, 
Oh, man. I'm again going to snap the arm back. Oh, man. Going for the pin now. One. Oh, and a kick out. Now bashing the skull into the turnbuckle. Oh no. Carmella. Distracting Asuka. Tiffany Strong might have an advantage here. And a roll up pin on Asuka. One. Oh, not even a one count. Asuka still kicks out. Even with the distraction from Carmella. Nice takedown from Asuka. Oh no. Carmella's in the ring now. Looks like she's just hanging out. <laughs> oh, but Asuka's got Tiffany in a submission, but she got out of it, like, almost immediately. Nope, Carmella's back outside of the ring again, I guess. That was weird. Gonna go for the pin on Tiffany, though. One. Oh! But Carmella breaks it up. Oh, a nice belly-to-back suplex from Asuka. Tiffany Strong's in trouble. for the pin on Tiffany two but she kicks out Owen oh, a nice takedown from Tiffany strong Now stomping the arm. Tiffany is in control. Oh, shoulder first into the turnbuckle. Or the ring post. Oh, and a spear from Tiffany. Gonna drag Asuka to the center and go for the pin here. Or not. Gonna go for the kick first. Now for the pin. One. Oh, and a kick out at one by Asuka. Asuka's still not giving up. Oh. Asuka takes down Tiffany. Going to go for the pin now. One, two, oh, and just barely kicks out at two and a half. Oh, Asuka got her in the Asuka lock. This might be it for Tiffany. And she taps out. So Asuka wins.
Congratulations to Asuka on that victory. And you can just see Tiffany Strong laid out in the corner of the ring over there. Great match by Asuka. Next, we have more one on one action Suicide versus Jeff Hardy. Now here comes suicide. And now here comes the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. And here we go. Suicide right off the bat with a nice takedown. Went for a kick, but Jeff Hardy reverses it. Oh, and a running knee from Suicide. Stomping the arm now. Oh, oh. Repeated punches back and forth here. Jeff Hardy gets the upper hand and Suicide rolls out. Oh, and Suicide said he's done with this. Jeff Hardy's obviously fed up. Suicide. Oh, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy helping out his brother. Sending Suicide back into the ring. Oh, and he hit him with a forearm, though. He said, if I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to do it well. Oh, man, what a takedown.
Oh, super kick to the gut from Suicide. Now spinning kick. Snapping the neck there. Oh, man. Are they going to beat the count? Oh, that was very close. Jeff Hardy was in at the very last second. You see the ref's hands go up, but he didn't count, so it didn't count. <coughs> and nice using advantage of the ropes, Jeff Hardy was. Double leg drop to the arm. Oh, and a kick takes down Suicide. Standing splash. Kick to the back. Jeff Hardy is in full control right now. And just as I say it, suicide. A nice slam. Drop kick to the back of the neck, look like. Once again, Suicide just stomping Jeff Hardy. Oh, we're going to take him to the corner here. Oh, bashing the skull against the turnbuckle. He's got him in a submission here, which could be over for Jeff. Oh, Jeff gets out of it. And I believe that was the whisper in the wind. But it wasn't enough for suicide. And a roll up. One, two. Oh, man, that was close. That was very close. Now Hardy with a forearm. Oh, and Suicide just got busted open on the turnbuckle there. Oh, man. Face first into the mat. Going to go for the pin. Hardy. One, two, oh man, and Suicide kicks out at two. Oh, knee to the face right there. Oh, but Suicide, sit-out powerbomb, and now Hardy's down. This match has just been back and forth, my goodness. Oh, man, just, that just got to destroy the knees. Running forearm, and another running forearm. Oh, Pele kick. Jeff Hardy thought he caught him. Oh, and the quick movements from Suicide. And a DDT busts open Jeff Hardy. Going to go for the pin. One, two. Oh, but Hardy kicks out at two. Suicide obviously getting frustrated here. 
Looking to climb the ropes. Coup de grace. Gonna go for the pin. One, two, three. Suicide does it. My goodness, what a match, ladies and gentlemen. That was insane. That is a match we could potentially see at Code Red, which is the next pay-per-view. Because these two know how to fight. They can put on a really good match, as we just saw. And they've had a bit of a rivalry going on a little bit here for a while. We haven't seen them face each other in a couple weeks, but they have been facing off a little bit. Great match put on by them. And finally, our main event tonight is the Extreme Championship match. Looks like we're going to start things off with Iron Man. Wha Seth? No. No! You've got to be kidding me. He got Seth. No. This is getting out of hand. Way out of hand. It's not okay. Looks like Sin Cara, the former champion. I don't know why the screens aren't working. What? Sin Cara, too? This is the fourth person we've seen that has been brainwashed to tonight. You have got to be kidding me. Booby Miles? I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. Why? Why is this happening?
Now here comes Iron Man. He seems excited, but he's brainwashed again, I guess. It's kind of weird seeing him do his normal entrance. Iron Man's brainwashed career has been kind of weird. Especially since in the last episode he wasn't even brainwashed, like and then there was like like flashing light or something after he won the title. Great, who else is in the match that's been brainwashed? The Hulk. Great. Hold on. All of the people we've seen tonight. Oh. That flashing light. That was what brainwashed them. These people were all in the match last week. Or on the last episode. For the Extreme Championship on, on episode 47. They were all in the match. Oh my gosh. Is that... Is that why? Because they were in the match? I don't... I don't understand. This is insane. But this is the Extreme Championship match. What are you talking about? I don't know. Tell me how he got in here. You're the only person who could have communicated with him that knows where we are. So tell me how he got here. I really don't know. Please, let me go. If you would tell me how you told Aaron where we were, maybe I would consider letting you go. But until then, you're going to sit here with this gun pointed at your face. I really don't know how he got here. I did not talk to him. I don't even know exactly where we are. Please. Don't play stupid with me, idiot. I'm going to give you three seconds to tell know. me how you told I don't Aaron know. where I don't we know were anything. and please. tell me how he got please. here. Please. I don't know how he got No, please stop. Please. Two. No. I don't know. I don't know anything. One. We just shot. Oh my gosh. The masked man. We just shot. Shot Chad Baldwin die. Oh my goodness. Now, Aaron Glenn. <clears throat> they're fighting in the backstage. What the heck? How did. What is happening right now? We just witnessed Chad Baldwin's death. And now the masked man has found Aaron Glenn in the backstage. This... This is chaos. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, and he just threw him through the door. My goodness, Aaron Glenn has a purpose. And Aaron Glenn apparently was the reason that Chad Baldwin just got shot to death. Which makes no sense to me. But now Aaron fighting back.
My goodness, he's gonna break his jaw. Oh gosh, just thrown into the locker. And now the masked man has a trash can. Oh man, just mangling the trash can over the back of Aaron Glenn. My goodness. I can't believe Chad Baldwin's dead. Again, Aaron Glenn fighting back here. These two just going all out. And thrown out of the room, the locker room. Oh, but he went back in there for Aaron. Oh, my goodness. Somebody's going to break something. Oh, man. Just thrown halfway across the hallway. The masked man is obviously a pretty strong guy. But we don't know who it is. And you can't prepare for what you don't know. Oh my goodness. Head first into the concrete. He ducked the kick. But now he's got him by the neck. Oh, but Aaron. Aaron reversing. He's out of it. Oh, and a knee to the face of Aaron Glenn. These two just fighting all throughout the backstage. Oh, man. Oh, and the masked man reverses out of it. Oh, thrown into the travel case. Oh, man. Face first into the wall. These two are just brawling. This is an all-out fist fight. This is, not a this is not a wrestling match. Oh, and a beautiful reversal there from Aaron Glenn. He has obviously been training since he's been gone. And I'm surprised Aaron Glenn's doing this well since he got attacked by um, Rhino and Daniel Bryan earlier tonight. Oh, man. Sitting to the wall. Oh, thrown through the door. And they're in Baron Blade's office now fighting. And the masked man just knocked out Aaron Glenn. <laughs> 